in this uh, particular example, we have here a bronze tube closed at the ends, you know, and then we have walls here, so rigid walls, and then we have, um, uh, unlike our uh, previous examples on uh, pressure vessels, this uh, in this uh, particular problem, our tube is uh, horizontal, so the diameter is uh, 3 inches, and then you have the length is uh, 6 inches. So we are given with the Poisson's ratio for bronze and then you have the E equals 12 times 10 to the 6 uh, PSI. Now for this problem we are asked to find the tangential and longitudinal stresses. No? So unlike again with our previous uh, examples wherein our tube is uh, on vertical, our tangential stress here is your stress or is, is your stress Y. No? And then you have the longitudinal stress is your stress X. Uh, by the way, we are also given with uh, 6,000 PSI, which is the internal pressure. So, we can make use no? for Y direction in, in which we have no restrictions on our, our dimensions. We have no restrictions on deformations or, or strain. We can make use of the PD over 2T for the tangential stress. No? So, this is tangential stress. So, solution for tangential stress, which is in this direction, that's uh, stress Y can make use of the PD over 2T since uh, we're given with the internal pressure, the diameter, and then you have the thickness. So we have P equals 6,000 pounds per square inch. And then you have the diameter, which is uh, 3 inches. And then you have 2 times thickness, which is uh, 0 0.1 inch so this cancel with the other inch we will have 6000 times 3 we'll 6000 oops 6000 times 3 divided by 2 times 0 0.1 that's it we'll have 90,000 psi or 90,000 psi 90,000 psi or in ksi that's just 90 ksi we cannot make use of the PD for stress X, for example. So this is a stress Y tangential. Okay. For uh, remember the equation for longitudinal, which is a uh, four uh, PD over four T. No, we, though we're given with the internal pressure, we cannot make use of um, this one because again. We have a specification here that the strain in this ends in this uh, direction equals zero no? because of the presence of these uh, walls again. So we cannot make use of this um, equation, but can make use of the equation stress for strain y equals one over e stress y minus v give stress x. So this is the tangential the y. Oh, no, 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 no. It should be x. So again, I remember our our tube here is uh, um, oriented horizontally. So it should be stress x, a uh, strain x. One over e stress x minus v stress y. And we're given with y, and then this is zero. This is zero because again it's uh, specified because of the presence of the walls that the strain along the x direction is zero. So we can have stress x which is equal to v stress y. So this becomes zero. You will have zero a one third times your ninety thousand psi your stress x is equal to just divide by 3 you will have 30 ksi or 30,000 psi so that's your tangential and your longitudinal so this is your longitudinal stress stress Again, I cannot make use of this because, again, you specify that the strain along the x direction is 
0 but we can make use of this PD over 2T since our Y direction has no um, restrictions so that's it